Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're excited. This is part two. Part two. Part two of our Oregon adventure where we went and got the switchback, but we're actually taking you in and around Oregon where we had some amazing experiences. You're, you're going to see it. Oregon is a beautiful country. We truly fell in love with it. Can't wait to get back. So hope you enjoy the video. And stay tuned next week where we give in a walk around and in-depth look of the inside and outside of the switchback. Let's go. Let's go. the new Super Pacific switchback installed, it was time to begin our open road adventure. So we made our way down from Tillamook where we had lunch. We had a nice little lunch at a little pizza spot. And uh, we saw the sign for uh, Cape Lookout State Park. So let's decided let's come down and take a look. Amazing little park down here. It, and, uh, they do have camping, um, but they have a beautiful day use area that was only $5. So we said, let's kind of see and check it out. Yeah. And we're so glad we did. <laughs> it looks like, is this how this works? You just kind of clean like somewhere, somewhere up there behind us. <laughs> is the uh, Cape Lookout. So there's a little trail. We're going to take the trail and see how far we can make it to the, to get the lookout. Get some beautiful and vistas. It is a little bit of a hazy day, but we're going to see what we get and take you along the way. It's amazing how these trees yeah. come right down to the shoreline all throughout. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. People out here enjoying the day. There's people walking on the beach. Not too many people in the water. There's one little guy out there that's braving it, but it might be still a little cold. We haven't, we haven't checked out the water temperature yet, but just just a beautiful area. Beautiful area. I mean, yeah. even just the drive down's worth it. Just a little scenic byway um, down here to the state park, but just gorgeous. So come along with us. Fortunately, we came to a dead end again. The trail is closed due to some recent windstorm damage that closed the trail and we can't make it to the Cape Lookout, but we'll make the best of it. Well, since the trail to the Lookout was closed, we saw this over in the distance. And we're gonna go and try and get as close as we can and check it out. You know, it's not an adventure unless you try and discover something new that you haven't seen before, so let's go. Having never been to the area before, we were excited to reach the end of the pavement and hit the dirt road in anticipation of finding an ideal campsite for the night. With no real camping sites pre-planned and wanting to discover the wilds of Oregon, we used the iOverlander app to help us locate camping sites in and around the areas that we would be exploring. With a sense of adventure, we decided to explore farther than the app took us. We are so glad we did because we found one of the most amazing camp spots right near a beautiful serene creek.
There's a favorite quote by John Muir. Keep close to nature's heart and break clear away once in a while and climb a mountain or spend a week in the woods. Wash your spirit clean. This all rings true and why we love connecting with nature, getting away, escaping the hectic day-to-day -day life and just really slowing down and enjoying your surroundings. The Trail of Ten Falls is located in Silver Falls State Park, the crown jewel of the Oregon State Park system. This hiking trail takes you to 10 gorgeous waterfalls that you can walk right up to. The total distance for the full loop is 7.6 miles. Silver Falls State Park and right behind us you can see the beautiful North Falls. It's probably really the, the most awe-inspiring one. Sure. So, but so far we've been walking on not even a mile and this trail is just magical. I mean, it's incredible. Look at that. It's amazing. That's my word. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> but it, I mean, every, like we just walk a couple steps another shot a couple uh, another couple steps another shot just everywhere you look it's just something else beautiful because we're not used to these lush forests being from southern california it's just amazing and spectacular yeah walking through the cave was you know something we've never experienced before walking underneath a waterfall like that on a, on a trail it's just even in hawaii really cool. we've, really we've never cool. been able to do that so yeah. this is such a treat today and we're having so much fun We were on a mission to outrun the weather and find drier conditions, so we headed south. A trick to stay awake is to have sunflower seeds. And Randy's flavor of choice is what? Dill pickle? Today. Today is dill pickle. It's working. We've actually used it twice on this leg of the journey to go to campsite number two. And look, we beat the we beat the weather. We dodged it. Got blue skies again. So hopefully the campsite is open and we can set up camp because we are beat. Ready to get out, stretch our legs, and relax. Good morning. Um, we didn't shoot much video. Got a couple of photos of camp. Camp number two last night. Um, we got here, what, 7, 7.30? It was another, I mean, a three hour drive day. We're up by um, Crater Lake National Park and found this amazing spot. I think it's even better than the first one. I'm gonna show you the view here. It's about six o'clock in the morning, so take a look at this. So this site, we we had an original site planned. Um, we were using the I Overlander app, and the gate was closed to get back into the recreational area. Um, 
a lot of the area up here is still closed. All the, the federal and state parks are still closed. And maybe so. they don't open until the end of May. Um, that's part of the reason we rolled in here so late is because we were just at that point just trying to find anywhere to camp for the night. And when when you when you stumble upon a gem like this that you had no intention of, it was just what we found. I mean, that's that's yeah. that's what's great about getting out here and exploring is is the places that you find that. You know, you weren't expecting. We weren't expecting. You, you know, weren't this. expecting this at all. And, and as you can see from the video, I mean, where else can you find a free campsite that had a fireplace? We believe that there maybe was a house that was here before, maybe burned down, and that fireplace is left over um, the structure. That's all that was left and remaining. Um, and then there was one right next to it. And then um, we saw a truck go up the hill. We'll probably check that out on the see way what's up, up, See what else is up, up there. Because there. he was checking out our spot, looking at the spot before us. So there must be additional spots up there because he never came back down. And that's the thing is, you know, yeah, we might not say exactly where this spot is. But, you know, that's the beauty of overlanding and adventuring is finding and discovering places, marking those down, you know, in your Gaia GPS for future reference. Um, and I'll tell you what, Oregon has tons of them, tons of these beautiful places. I mean, they are really lucky to have a state where they have such amazing campsites right next to these beautiful bodies of water. Um, it's incredible. I mean, cheers, Oregon. We're, we're falling in love with you. Absolutely. That background noise is what we fell asleep to last night. We're going to enjoy our cup of coffee here by the river and then um, get the day going. We got some hikes planned in Crater Lake National Park, so. Prior to our arrival at the Crater Lake area, we failed to research any possible closures. Luckily for us, our GPS guided us to the west entrance, which is the only entrance that is currently open this time of year. about a uh, risk 27 degrees out or so. We can't do the hike that we wanted to up to Watchman's, uh, Watchman's peak. peak, but um, still breathtaking nonetheless. I mean, yeah, look at that behind us. Blue water. For the most part, I mean, look at this. This is just incredible. The whole north um, roads are still closed. Um, you can get there by foot, but you'd have to hike. Um, and we didn't bring any of our cold weather hiking gear, so. But this is worth it to come up here absolutely. and see this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Long journey home, we decided to make the drive back down to the Oregon-California border. It was our goal to make our last camp for this trip down by Lake Shasta. <laughs> setting up camp for the last time on this incredible journey. We traveled a total of 2,300 miles and every moment worth it for the amazing experiences we had in Oregon. Can't wait for the next one.